Thank you for purchasing from Concealment Woodworks. This video is to show you how to install your concealment picture frame. Let's get started. First, we'll change out the image to a family portrait or other personal photo that works well in your house. On the back side of the frame, you will find the tabs holding in the acrylic, the filler image, and the backer. Bend those tabs along three sides towards you to remove the pieces. The acrylic sheet ships with a protective film to guard against scratches. Peel away this film to expose the clear acrylic. After installing the pieces back into the frame, ensure that the top of the image is toward the hinges. Now that we have our image mounted properly in the frame, we're going to install the frame now over this old telephone jack. The three wall mounting anchors here are included as part of the kit. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver and also a level of some sort. Now that we have all our tools and supplies ready, let's ensure that the location of our concealment picture frame is the right one by making sure that it is within reach of wherever we'll be standing and also is mounted at the right height for when you draw. Now in this case I'm covering up this plate so I'm going to make sure that it's covered just like that and I'm going to then take my first screw and poke a hole in the top middle pre-drilled hole. So here it goes. Okay. Chances are you probably won't hit a stud, but if you do, bonus. Otherwise, we'll go to the next step. Well, we didn't hit a stud, so I'm going to pull this one out and follow it up with the next piece. Now, the, that hole that we just created with the top middle screw, we're going to follow that hole up with our second part, the part that goes into the drywall, of course using that same Phillips head screwdriver. Now we have that back piece flush with the wall. We're ready to put the frame in. Now, our frame is installed with just one of the wall mounting anchors. We're going to make sure that it's ready with the other two. Before we put in the other two, I'm going to grab my level and we're going to make sure that everything is on the level. There we go. My level tells me that's in order, so fortunately it's not going to sway too much now that it's nicely tightened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two screws from the other two wall mounting anchor sets and I'm going to poke holes for the bottom two, ensuring as I do this that the frame doesn't tilt side to side. Okay, both bottom screws are now in. Uh, I did not hit a stud, and so I'm going to pull these out and then follow them up with a drywall plastic portion. Okay, now that I have the two bottom screws out, I'm going to tilt this to the side to access those two holes that were created so I can follow them up with the other portions. Making sure I don't break anything with these screws sticking out. Attached to the magnet. Now that we've got our picture frame installed on our wall with all three wall mounting anchors in place, the final part is going to be installing your firearm. I have here my Glock 17 and a full magazine. Of course, anytime you store it in this particular case, we want to make sure that we are loaded and ready to go. My finger is indexed off the trigger for safety and we're going to put it carefully up into our picture frame. I have the firearm up against the wall and let the magnet take over from there. In our next video we're going to be covering how to draw from this holster. Thanks again for your purchase from Consumer Woodworks.